Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial on building a JavaScript PDF editor. In the first part of this video, we'll build an editor using PDF lib. Then, in the later part, we'll build an editor using PS PDF kit. So without further ado, let's get started. First, let's lay out a simple HTML skeleton to initialize the project. In the head tag, add the PDF libs UMD modules. The PDF document must be embedded in an iframe. So go ahead and add an iframe tag in the body. With PDF lib, you can either create a new document or modify an existing one. For this example, you'll load an existing document from your project directory. Add the PDF document you want to edit to your project. And in the script tag, import the PDF document class from PDF lib. And load the PDF document you added earlier. Fetch the document as raw bytes in an array buffer and supply it to the PDF document.load method. To render the document, generate a unitate array and convert it to a base64 encoded string. Then supply it as the source to the iframe. Furthermore, you can add a page by calling the add page API exposed by PDF lib. Likewise, you can remove a page by calling the remove page API. Now, add a div with two buttons to trigger these functions. Moreover, let's say you would like to draw some text on the added pages. PDFLib exposes a draw text API so you can achieve this by adding a few lines of code to the add page to doc function. Don't forget to import the standard fonts enum and the RGB interface from PDF lib. Finally, serve the contents of your current directory. You can now add a page by clicking on the add page button and you can remove a page by clicking on the remove page button. 
This section will cover how to integrate PSPDF Kit's JavaScript PDF editor into your project. PSPDF Kit for web library files are distributed as an archive that can be installed as an NPM module by running yarn add PSPDF Kit. Then copy the PSPDF Kit for web distribution to the assets directory in your projects folder. Make sure your assets directory contains the pspdfkit.js file and the pspdfkit lib directory with the library assets. Furthermore, add the document you want to edit to your products directory. Add an index.html file to your project and lay out a simple HTML skeleton to initialize your project. Then, Add an empty div element with a defined height and width to where PSPDF kit will be mounted. Now, add an index.js file to the project and import PSPDF kit into your application. and initialize PSPDF kit for web in JavaScript by calling pspdfkit.load. Finally, don't forget to import index.js into your HTML page. Install the serve package with yarn global add serve. Then serve the contents of your project directory. And that's all. All the features you have built using PDF lib are already present out of the box in our SDK, so you don't need to do anything else. Hope you liked the video and thank you for watching.